learn easily and remember effectively with the help of acronyms. Today we are using two acronyms, Sensors and Simple, to learn about Sensors and Simple methods. For any statistical study, we need to collect data. Suppose you are asked to do a study on what type of content school students are watching on social media, whether it is related to sports, entertainment or hobbies. And you are supposed to conduct this study for your class only. Here, your area of study is small and the population is the total number of students in your class. Now, in this case, it is possible for you to collect information or data from each student of your class. What will happen if the area of your study becomes very large? Now, instead of only studying the students of your class, you are asked to study all the students of your school or all the students of class 11 in your town. Now, it will not be possible for you to collect data from every unit of the population. So, data can be collected from a group which represents the total population. The first technique where you have collected information from every unit of the population is called census method. And the second technique where you have collected data from a group of the population is called sample method. Now let us use the acronym census to learn more about census method. C in census stands for complete and E stands for enumeration. The process used in census method involves complete enumeration of every single member of the population. Population relates to the entire set of observations connected to a particular study. N stands for National Census of India. A good example of this method is National Census of India, which is conducted every 10 years. Information collected in the census includes demographic information such as age, race and gender as well as information about housing, income and employment. The next three letters S, U and S will help us to understand the suitability of this method. This method is suitable when the area of study is small. It is used for intensive examination to obtain accurate information. It helps to study the diverse characteristics of the population. So, a statistical investigation in which the data are collected from each and every element or unit of the population is termed as census method. It is also known as complete enumeration or complete survey. This method is most commonly used by the government in connection with the national population, housing and agricultural census, etc., where vast knowledge about these fields is required. We can also use the acronym census to list down the advantages and disadvantages of census method. Census method confirms a high degree of accuracy than other techniques. Data collected is extremely reliable as each and every unit of the population is included in data collection. Census method can be used for intensive study and is a suitable choice when different items of the population are not homogeneous. The disadvantages of census method are, it is a costly method since the investigator closely observes each and every item of the population. It is time consuming since it requires a lot of manpower to collect the data. There are many possibilities of error in census method of data collection. Now let us use the acronym SIMPLE to understand more about SIMPLE method. A SIMPLE is a subset of the population under study. SIMPLE method of data collection is useful when the area of study is large. SIMPLE is a manageable representation of this large population. So this method is applicable when the population is homogeneous. Sample method of data collection is suitable for those research in which high level of accuracy is not expected. This method is economical and effective as only some units of the population are studied. So, the sampling method is the process of studying the population by gathering information from a subset of the population to make statistical inferences from them and estimate the characteristics of the whole population. Keeping in mind the acronym SIMPLE, let us list down the advantages and disadvantages of SIMPLE method.
The major advantage of simple method is its simplicity and lack of bias. It is less time consuming and cost effective, so it is economical and efficient. It is an alternative for those studies where census method cannot be applied. While using sample method, the investigator faces the difficulty of selecting a truly representative sample of the population. There are always chances of personal bias in the selection of sample, thus making the data collected less accurate and less reliable. We have come to the end of today's tutorial. So, whenever you want to answer any question related to census or sample method, just recall the acronym census and sample. It is as simple as that. If you find my way of explanation useful, then please hit the like button and share the tutorial with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials related to your syllabus. Until we meet next time, take care and happy learning.